Hey guys, and welcome and welcome back to my channel. Off to a rough start on day two of 12 Days of Foundation Hunt. You know, a whole bunch of new music dropped last night and I forgot about the whole you gotta wake up early part there. And I'm pretty sure I came back sick from Japan, so I can't breathe through my nose right now, but we gonna push through it because it's only day two and there's still 10 more days, actually 11, because we haven't even started today. But since we haven't even started to lay, to lay, today, Let's just get right into it. It's gonna be a long video. <laughs> so this is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Foundation. Ooh, let me not blind you there. This comes in 40 shades. I picked it up in the shade R540. If you guys saw the video that I did recently testing out the Ultra HD foundation, I'm pretty sure I also tried 540 in that one. So hopefully the shades kind of correlate here, but now for the description on this foundation see here a breathable full coverage foundation with a lifelike matte finish that bends and breathes with skin for up to 24 hour coverage is full finish is matte formulation is liquid skin type is for normal dry combination and oily skin this creamy blendable texture balances the complexion for zero shine it never cakes flakes or fades so skin appears natural and vibrant throughout the day this is the matte liquid foundation for a generation who understands their skin's needs and demands high performance from their products those those some claims there makeup forever i mean all right i see you this is what the actual foundation looks like all right so let's go ahead and blend this bad boy out i've been using if you guys have been watching my previous videos i've been using the smashbox powder foundation brush but i've been digging this blurring foundation brush lately Ooh. Okay. Okay, so this is the foundation on my face. Now let me go ahead and quickly finish this up. Okay, so it is currently 11:17, and this will be my face for the day. But before I go, I need to let you guys know that today's giveaway will be here on my YouTube channel. If something was confusing about yesterday's video when I said leave your Instagram or Twitter in your comment down below, it's just easier if you win to have a way of contacting you. Um, I feel most people don't check or know that there is a YouTube, uh, YouTube inbox. And um, I feel some people aren't comfortable with leaving their emails in the comments down below. If you don't have Twitter or Instagram and you're fine leaving your email, by all means, go ahead. Or, you know, like if you know you'll check your YouTube inbox, go ahead. Because I know some people also don't have a Instagram or Twitter. If you have a Snapchat, you can leave that as well down below. Now I'm gonna go. Okay, so it is 2... 52 53 in the afternoon and this is what my face is looking like i feel like <laughs> i feel like you can see a, a better color match in this lighting here i also feel like you can see that i'm still pretty matte i feel like i kind of look the same as when i left this morning and yeah i don't really have any other updates i'll see you later Alrighty then, so I am back and it is 8.05 and this is what my face is looking like. I'm pretty sure I did not mention this before I left for the day, but this foundation retails for $38 for 1.01 ounces. And now to go over what it claimed, a breathable full coverage foundation with a lifelike matte finish that bends and breathes with skin for up to 24 hours. Full coverage, matte finish, liquid formulation for normal dry combination and oily skin. So, full coverage foundation, yes, she is. Matte foundation, Yes, she is. She matte. All right. It's not it's not just a matte foundation. She matte matte. All right. That's the type of matte foundation that she is. Y'all see my face? It's been I left before noon. Right. So it's been over eight hours. And this is what my face is looking like. I mean, it says up to 24 hour wear. I ain't never gonna be wearing makeup for 24 hours. But yeah, she, she a matte foundation if you are looking for one. With that being said, Y'all know I have combo oily skin, so my T-zone is oily. The perimeter of my face is normal, and then I have some dry patches throughout. Um, it really just depends how dry they are. And, you know, even though it is a very matte foundation, it didn't do that bad with my dry patches. My dry patches are usually around my eyebrows. <laughs> 
and my nose area, it took pretty well to the area around my eyebrows. Even when I first applied it, it took well to my nose. So I'm, I'm set. I've had foundations do worse when it comes to my dry patch. Like I didn't even want to apply in those areas. So we're getting better here with this foundation. However, hours later, it's not, it's not on the ball of my nose <laughs> anymore. Like it's, it's just gone. Like here's, let me see here. Here's where my skin is showing and then here up is product. So um, yeah, kind of kind of vanished in that area around my nose. So that's something to keep in mind there. Um, it, it's a liquid foundation and that's the skin type that it says it has. Um, is that all it claims to do? Never cakes, flakes, or fades. I'll get to that in my thoughts. And yeah, so pretty much I give my thoughts on this foundation. This is, this is a nice foundation, all right? She she looked pretty nice for a foundation that's as matte as it is. Y'all know I'm more of the skin-like type person. I don't want it to look like I have five layers on. I'm wearing five layers, but I don't want it to look like I'm wearing five layers. You feel me here? So I like the fact that even though it is such a matte foundation, it still looks pretty, pretty natural, you know, for as full coverage of a foundation that it is. So I'm here for the finish. I'm okay with the coverage. Y'all know typically I wouldn't be here for a full coverage foundation, but like I said, um, it still has a natural finish to it so i'm not mad at it and i feel like you can build this down a little bit if you do want more of a medium coverage foundation she's matte so i'm always going to be here for that i do want to point out if you have um skin that gets a tad bit drier in the winter maybe be a little careful with it because i said it did okay with my dry patches but i said it did okay with my dry patches you know like it's it's not like it was perfect there and we're not really even into winter yet it's like kind of wintry but it's kind of not you know we still got a couple more months of that and i know my skin's going to get as dry as oily skin can get in the next few weeks so you know keep an eye out there on that but just just throwing that out there about the matte finish really the only thing that i have to say about this <laughs> foundation is this color has been throwing me off the entire day because i've clearly looked at the footage that i filmed before i left for the day like i was editing that part before I came back for this and on camera I feel like this kind of makes sense as a shade match and then I look at my face in natural lighting like I looked at my face during the check-in video I looked at my face and that that was window lighting I looked at my face in the bathroom and that's bathroom lighting and I just can't, even even looking at the footage with my studio lighting I kept picking up gray in certain areas it's just, I, this, this is going to have to be one of the ones where y'all tell me in, in the uh, comments down below what you feel about this shade match. I feel like she's, she's just a smidge dark there, which is why it's coming across gray to me. Somehow, I, y'all, y'all just gonna have to let me know. I'm okay with foundations being like one layer dark because I do use a bright concealer but I'm already wearing concealer and I, I'm, I don't do like five shades lighter concealer so this is as light as my concealer is going to get and I still feel like it's a tad bit dark there and because of that the undertone is reading gray y'all gonna have to let me know okay so other than the shade um I like this foundation maybe I'll have to play around with some of the other shades because there are 40 at least there are 40 Mm -hmm. there are 40 shades in this foundation so maybe I just have to play around with some of the other shades that they have in here but really um I feel like you know so far so good we're, we're going in the right direction here for foundation hunt I was about to say a week but it's 12 days of found I feel like we're going in the right direction you know hopefully we can like the foundations more and more and more as the days go on okay so that is it for this video hope seeing this foundation on my face and hearing some of my thoughts it's helped Ooh, looked right into my lighting if you were thinking of checking this foundation out for yourself make sure to thumbs up comment and subscribe down below thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one Bye. Okay, so I was gonna end the video, but then I was going to put the foundation up with all my other foundations. Maybe it's not the shade. Like, maybe the shade is 
my shade because I told you guys I tried the Ultra HD foundation in 540 and I didn't have any at least I don't remember any issues with that one but when I was holding it up does it look like maybe just the undertone of this is gray and not that because it's too dark is what's making it gray but like the undertone is legit gray look at it in the bottle and tell me if you see what I'm seeing here I feel like the undertone itself is just grayish with this shade I could be wrong though let me know